Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Phil Collins' recently sold Miami Beach home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love this palm tree lined entrance. This feels like we're about to go on an adventure. We love all the palm trees around this home. There's nothing more vibe than palm trees. It's no mistake that vibe and palm both have four letters. They're so chill they don't even want to stand up straight in the backyard. Inside, we love the barrel vaulted dining room ceiling. We love the balcony and view from the main bedroom, as well as whatever this coat hanging contraption is. I hope this was included in the sale. We love the size of the main living area. We love the La Cornu range in the kitchen. La Cornu is a Rolls Royce of ranges. We love that the kitchen has some kind of oven zone. It makes my mouth salivate just thinking about all the casseroles we could be cooking at once in here. We love how cozy the living room feels. In the backyard, we love the city view. We love how perfectly trimmed the grass is. We love that the pool and spa are separate. Separate means you can heat up the hot tub without having to heat up the pool. We love these privacy bushes around the hot tub. You don't want passing by boaters to see any of the activities you're having in here. Finally, we love this dock. If there was one takeaway to be had from the great rise of DJ Khaled on Snapchat in 2015, it's that there's nothing cooler than jet skiing from your backyard in Miami to your friend's house. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate that this driveway seems to only be about one and a half lanes. If I have to back up because a car is coming, that's it. I'm backing up and never coming back here again. We hate how dirty these tire marks are. Inside, we hate these curtains and these curtains and these curtains. Who wants to ever block that amazing view? Not me. We hate how slippery this floor looks. This whole vibe doesn't seem to really match the rest of the home either. This is also going to be a spiderweb village. We hate how high the dining room chairs are. And we hate that these chandeliers look like drums. In the kitchen, we hate these lights. Was there a buy 20 get 20 free sale at Lowe's? We also hate this boob light and this boob light. We hate how far apart these drawer knobs are. Even though we love palm trees, we hate how expensive it's going to be to keep them clean, shaved, and maintained. At a few hundred bucks a tree, it's going to be tens of thousands of dollars a year. We hate that these floor tiles are beginning to pop up. If you stub your toe on this, that's it. Your maximum chill sesh is over. See y'all next episode. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Celebrity Home Shopping, where we review Phil Collins' recently sold Miami Beach home. Today's home ranked 4 out of 5 on the Homies Home Ranking Scale. Welcome to the episode Stats After Show, where we take a longer look at the stats. Since we skipped through them so fast, this price is pretty high from what we've seen so far, but pretty solid for Miami Beach. The price per square foot is also on the higher end, but seems about right for this location. Lot size is decent, anything over maybe 10 million, you gotta get at least an acre somewhere. I wish they just added another half bath to make it nine bathrooms, six bedrooms, nine baths. That's a lot funnier. And finally, I saw some koi fish the other day and a koi pond is maximum chill, super zen. It's a vibe vibe. So would love to have a 6,000 gallon koi pond. Also, one more fact, J-Lo bought it for like a few million and then was able to sell it for like 13 million in the early 2000s. So that was a pretty good flip.